County Community Shelter is a pretty busy little place. We are a full service homeless shelter. That means that um, we allow folks to stay overnight in our overnight shelter. They can check in uh, in the evening and check out the next morning. And we also have uh, dormitories here for folks who need a place to stay for a longer period of time while they're trying to stabilize their lives. Additionally, we have a full service soup kitchen. We're open 365 days a year and we serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. In the mid 80s, the shelter opened its door on a very casual basis, primarily with help from the church community, the faith community. And at that time, we only had five or 10 men who might stay the night. But in 1994, um, the issues and the problems with homelessness in Union County became um, a little more intensive, particularly as our population grew in Union County. United Way was definitely with us during that way. They were part of the process the entire time. Um, they were especially with us about six to seven years ago as well when we decided that there was a homeless family issue in Union County and we needed to develop a family program as well in addition to the overnight shelter. Um, United Way is definitely a partner with us in all that we do. We have a long history now here. We're actually going to be celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. Our soup kitchen at the community shelter is the busiest place in town, I think, sometimes. We serve about 125 meals a day. We serve a hot breakfast, hot lunch, and hot dinner every day. Um, we are open to anyone in the community that has a food hardship. We do not have a means test here. We're really proud of that fact. If you're hungry, you're welcome to come into the shelter, into the soup kitchen, and have something to eat. We uh, served 39,500 meals last year, and as you can see from our relatively small dining room and kitchen, that's a lot of work going on. At the Soup Kitchen, we strive not only to make sure people have enough to eat, but they are given healthy choices as well in the food that we present to them. Um, it's very important because so many of the low income and the impoverished are eating meals that are full of fats and carbohydrates and sugars and fast food. You know, recently we we're all hearing about these government cuts with food stamps and with federal programs, and I'm here to tell you that it's impacting people in our community in just a drastic way. People are hungry. People are scared. So we see these folks every day, and they struggle, and they don't know what to do. They're starting to bring in their families. We have children in high chairs here at the soup kitchen. Um, it's really sad to see that, and it's probably the last place that people want to be in that situation but it's where more and more folks are turning to food pantries, soup kitchens, in order to supplement what little they have during the month. You know, I think for many of us, we do take having a full belly for granted. We can eat anytime we want to. But here at the community shelter, we see hunger in people's eyes. 